So today we're going to build the Adirondack chair made by uh, kingsfinewoodworking.com. Uh, if you go there, uh, you'll be able to get all the plans for both his rocking chair and the Adirondack chair, and he also has children's chairs as well. Now, I did make one of the rockers out of some basic lumber. Uh, it was under $100 in lumber, dug for the big box store. But it came out pretty good, and it taught me a lot that I need to get redwood. Now, these templates, like I was telling you, so I get them in they're like a card stock, but I made photocopies of them, thinking I would be able to save them that way and wouldn't destroy them. And there's the cardstock ones there in the bottom right. But what I found was cutting them out of a three-quarter inch Baltic birch made it real easy. So then you're going to need a bunch of bolts, uh, various uh, screws, um, and uh, uh, just deck screws, and also some kind of sealer. Some kind of way to seal that wood all together. Because you're going to do it before you even put it together. So here's an example. I photocopied the... Uh, cardstock ones and they were just basically useless so i made templates out of those uh, out of three quarter inch baltic birch and then uh, it makes the process just fly by you can go through these really quick the only trouble that i really seemed to have was getting six out of a two by twelve and it's just i guess i wasn't getting the tolerances quite uh, close enough. So you really got to make sure those tolerances are close. As you can see there, I'm drawing five. And then I was able to get a sixth one, but it was a little bit tight. So here, I'm just going to break it down now with a jigsaw and cut it down into more manageable pieces. They're eight footers. So, so get them to more manageable position, uh, ability to handle them by and taking them over to the bandsaw being that size. And there's Five of them right there. So here we are on the bandsaw. You can kind of see how close those marks are. So I don't know how they're getting six out of them. They just must be really good at it because it, it takes a bit of practice. This was hard for me to do the first time and much easier the second time because the wood was softer, less knots, um, just easier to work with, much easier to work with the redwood than it was using the Doug fir. really need to take your time here when you're band sawing you know always know where your fingers are always know where your lines are where they're about to go so there you have it there's all 13 uh, back slats cut so just for a moment i want to talk about the templates again uh, re-emphasizing don't make copies don't even use the cardstock just go ahead and buy, get the templates uh made out of uh more permanent material like again the baltic birch three quarter inch plywood so you can just see how time consuming this is to mark out every single piece and they're it's they're very important to get them correct too so uh yeah it's worth it to make the templates